Torah TV. The world is thinking. What you just described is exactly the position that our president, Barack Obama, and recent Nobel Prize winner believes. He does not believe in same-sex marriage, but he thinks that gay and lesbian people should have protections and benefits. So what you're saying is actually he taunts gays and lesbians by saying you can have these things, but we're not going to call it what we call it. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my president another way you to could catch up it, right? with my <laughs> co-counsel <with my> co <laughs> right. Ted Olson, who, who uh, represented Bush and Bush v. Gore. Okay, and um, I mean Ted is about as conservative a person as you can find. He's a conservative on the libertarian side. He represented Bush and Bush v. Gore when I represented Gore. And I'm waiting for our president to catch up with him. I mean, let me just say, let me just say I, have to, I have to say this. I, I went to law school with, with President Obama, and um, I'm convinced whether or not I should say this publicly. Or not, I'm convinced that in his heart he probably does understand and believe in the idea of same-sex marriage. But I'm also convinced that he knows deep in, deep in his heart politically that that's a, a, a non-starter for most Americans, and he doesn't want to lead with his chin on this issue. And I, for whether or not I agree with it, that's what I think. But you just said let me just conservatives say that. don't even let me, support let me, it. Let me just say this. Let me, <laughs> just say this. let me just say this also. I worked in the White House with, for Bill Clinton as a special assistant to the president. And President Clinton, I believe from the moment he was elected, supported gay rights. But I feel because he felt stung by the whole gays in the military issue, he didn't do anything else. In fact, he actually signed the Defense of Marriage Act. And then, just a few months ago, President Clinton came out, now that he's no longer in office, and said, you know what, I support same-sex marriage after all. It's a very convenient position because he's no longer president. He doesn't have to cater to a political constituency. But the reality is that most of the politicians, I think, on the left actually are much more sympathetic than they are willing to acknowledge. And I, I know that's not something I'm not supposed to say, but I, I think that's true for the president, too. So, I mean, so he, what, what you're saying is that yes. people like Glenn and I go out there and say marriage is a man and woman because we deeply believe in it and we, it's important for the common good. And that President Obama is saying things that are bigoted and encourage discrimination and are uh, uh, insulting and derogatory, like putting a, a big yellow G on gay and lesbian people because he's worried about political fallout. What I'm saying is, first of all, I never, none of us have ever accused anybody here of being bigoted. In fact, David specifically said that no one here is bigoted. Well, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't attribute that to anybody here. But I do believe, and I, I know, again, that this is a controversial statement, but I do believe that the president... Does that make it better or worse? That's my question. What you've described, does that make it better or worse, morally speaking, his position? Well, I'll be very honest with you. I don't agree with his position. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I voted for the man. I don't agree with it. I voted for Bill Clinton. I didn't agree with his positions either. But I honestly believe that time will, time will show, and people will help this to, to indicate the change, that uh, eventually these politicians who are opposed to same-sex marriage will come around because the public will come around.